Like implementation of railways throughout Europe brought about huge changes to Europe as a continent and continues to play an important role in Europe to this day. Modern railway networks are becoming increasingly complex. Efficient coordination of the traffic on the network poses a significant challenge. Sway's Federal Railway Company is operating such a network, which registers more than 10,000 train runs a day. In this case, even a small disturbance such as train malfunction can have a huge impact on the service quality and the stability of the entire network. Swiss Federal Railway Company, in collaboration with Aircrowd, developed a framework that provides a simplified yet representative environment and holds the flatland challenge to study. How to efficiently manage dense traffic on complex railway networks? The 2020 New Rips Flatland Challenge attracted more than 700 participants from 51 countries around the world. Consisting of Zhao Yang Li, Yi Zheng, Xia Hong Chan from the University of Southern California, and Zhou Chen from Monash University, the team used multi agent pass funding technology to reach the highest score in both rounds of the challenge. They are known as the team, an old driver. In flatland environment, participants are given instances with maps showing rail tracks, train stations, and trains with star and target stations. They need to move the trains to their target station as fast as possible while avoiding collisions between the trains. Each instance gives 10 minutes to compute the initial solution and then 10 seconds to generate the move commands for the trains at each time step. Participants are asked to maximize the cumulative reward over an infinite number of instances of increasing difficulty with an overall runtime budget of 8 hours. The academic version of this challenge is called Multi Agent Pass Funding, which is moving multiple agents from their star vertices to their target vertices on a graph while avoiding collisions. Our software for this challenge incorporates many state-of-the-art multi-agent pathfinding or in general optimization technologies. It can be divided into a planning phase and execution phase. Problems in Flatland Challenge scales from several trams on a 10 by 10 map to thousands of trams on a giant map. The key to success is to solve as many problems in 8 hours as possible. As a simple and fast approach, prioritized planning becomes a good starting point of this journey. We plan paths for the trains one by one using a technique called safe interval path planning. The low priority trains are required to avoid collisions with the existing paths of the higher priority trains. However, the solution quality of prioritized planning is sometimes far from optimal. To tackle this drawback, we adopt the concept of large neighborhood search to the multi-agent path funding problem. Based on the initial solution from protest planning, as long as the max literation limit is not reached, we keep selecting a subset of agents and replan their path. LNS is powerful to find near-optimal solutions in a short time, especially since we can run several LNS processes in parallel and return the best solution. The only issue of LNS is how to set the max iteration limit. Spending more time on finding better solution quality for individual instances means solving fewer instances in 8 hours. To allocate the runtime spent by LNS on each instance best, we use simulate annealing to determine the max iteration limits based on training data. Now we have a plan that can guide all the trains to their target stations. Well, theoretically. In a flatland environment, minor functions can happen occasionally or frequently. A train can suddenly stop for a random period of time. This invalidates our original plan and leads to deadlocks. To handle these unexpected minor functions, MCP is introduced to avoid such deadlocks. MCP stops some trains to maintain the ordering with which each train visits each location, which is guaranteed to be dialogue free. Now we can execute our plan using MCP without worries. At each time step, 
MCP sends the next movement commands to the Flatland Simulator and receives the execution outcome from the simulator until all the trains reach their destinations. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh no, wait a minute. MCP sometimes stops trams unnecessarily, just like these trams. They could just go when some other trams are stuck by malfunctions. A partial replanning mechanism is introduced to allow this. When a train encounters malfunction, we click all switches and crossing rail segments that these trains going to visit in the future. And then, if time allows, we plan for the trains who are going to visit these locations after the malfunctioned train. Now we can coordinate these trains efficiently and effectively, but only for small to medium sized problems. When we have thousands of trains, the single engine pass planner becomes slow, as it has to avoid collisions with too many existing paths. Also, severe traffic congestions can happen as too many trains are in the environment at the same time. We therefore introduce a lazy planning scheme. We planning paths for only some of the trains during the planning phase, then let the trains move, and plan paths for the rest of the trains during the execution phase. This can speed up the single agent pass planner and improve the solution quality. Fingers crossed, this time for real. Here's the performance of our solution. We solved 362 competition instances within 8 hours, with their difficulty ranging from 1 train to more than 3000 trains. Most instances were solved with a success rate of 1, which means all trains reach their target stations before the given deadline. In terms of the computational time, it dramatically increased as the instance size grew. Despite the fact that 70% of the runtime was consumed by the Flatland Simulator, rather than our planner. If we focus on instance with no malfunctions, except one instance, all others including the instance with more than 3000 trains were solved with a success rate of 1. If we focus on the instance that have the maximum malfunction rate from the competition, the success rate dropped a lot. But, for example, more than 397 trains were malfunctioning at every time step in the largest instance. With these powerful techniques, we firmly stand on the top of the leaderboard, followed by other teams using optimization approaches. The best enforcement learning approach is ranked at the 7th on the leaderboard. This plot shows how the cumulative scores of our solution increases by the runtime. Compared with other optimization teams, we reached the second team's final score after 7.4 hours and the third team's final score after only 2.7 hours. The Flatland Challenge was branded as multi-agent reinforcement learning on trains, so two-thirds of the participants using reinforcement learning approaches to solve the problem. Compared to their solutions, our solution surpassed the best reinforcement learning team's final score after only 15 minutes. This is an example of how the best reinforcement learning solution looks like. Here's our solution on the same instance, which is clearly able to handle denser traffic. The plot here shows our solution dominates the top RL solutions, no matter in the perspective of solution quality or the number of solved instances within the same runtime budget. In this video, we introduced the winner system for solving train planning, replanning, and execution problems on large-scale railway networks. Our system incorporates many different planning and optimization technologies. It can plan collision-free paths for thousands of trains within a few minutes, and deliver dialog-free move commands for the trains in real time.